WWE Tough Enough, you can see it Tuesdays 8 p.m. on the USA Network. And one of the darlings of Tough Enough, Sarah Lee, is here. Sarah, what so far, how's this experience been for you? What have you learned from it? And what are you planning to get out of it still? I've learned a lot so far. It's definitely been eye-opening for me. I've never done anything like this before. I just made my video to, to come down here. Never in a million years thought that I'd actually get picked because I just come from a really small town in Michigan. So then I got the phone call. I thought somebody was messing with me. <laughs> but uh, I've been able to come down here. I've learned so much so far um, in the ring, you know, just being in front of the camera. I've never done anything like that before either. So i um, met a lot of interesting people. So learned a lot of worldly things from them. So it's been really fun so far. I want to ask you too then a little more in depth because <laughs> then what's it like for you? You see this is going on, uh, that you can participate in this. And just going through your mind, what was it, what was going through your mind to say, hey, I'm going to give this a chance? <laughs> well, uh, every, my mom, my whole family, I was because I, I watched WWE and uh, like nobody else in my family did, so I was always crazy Sarah that <laughs> liked wrestling. Um, so I saw that they were bringing back Tough Enough because I've been a fan for like the last five years or so. I am more of a recent fan. Um, so then I saw they were bringing it back. I was like, oh, I have to make my video and send it in. And uh, and then my family has supported me ever since. They're like, oh, there's you know they. They kind of laughed at me, but they still supported me. And so when I got picked, it was really awesome. You said that you thought someone was messing with you when they called. Yeah. So when did it, the reality hit that this oh, was happening? Oh, gosh. When I was on the plane down here, I think. Because I was at work when I got the call, too. So I still had to go back to work and be, like, normal afterwards. I was like, ah. So, yeah. Yep, it still seems surreal sometimes. Like, when we went to Raw and everything, like... Is this real life? <laughs> Being that you were at Raw too, what was that whole experience like? Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Um, the last time I went to Raw in Michigan, I actually bought tickets off like a uh, StubHub, and they turned out to be fake, so when we got there, we had to just buy tickets that they had left, so it was literally the very top row. And then they told us we were going to Raw, and I was so excited, because we got to go backstage and experience it firsthand. It was just night and day. <laughs> it's yeah, totally different of, from being up right in the cheese and yeah. stuff like that, and now you're like, hey, everyone's watching you. Yeah, it was so awesome. All the superstars were back there. They were also nice. For you, what is it like? What has it been like for social media? And just how has that thing exploded for you since you've been on this show? Oh gosh, yeah. Before I had like 300, 400 followers maybe, and now I have like 20,000. It's insane. It's just, I love talking to my fans on there. It's kind of funny that people want to talk to me and, you know, I like, I like being... Because that's something you're not used to. No, not at all. Because <laughs> um, it, it was me before I came down here, you know what I mean? I'd be tweeting to my superstar or whatever. So it's just really awesome to kind of connect with them in that way. Who are some of the ones that you enjoy watching? Oh gosh, I always get asked this and then it goes on and on and on. <laughs> um, I really like Natalia. Uh, you'll see her later on this episode today. Um, I really like AJ Lee too. Um, the guys, I like Brock Lesnar. I really like Neville who just came out. Um, all sorts. <laughs> now, it's interesting you mentioned Brock because yeah. Brock is totally opposite of Sarah Lee. Yeah, everybody always laughs. I like the Wyatt family too and everybody's like, what? I see, I'm not just nice. I do have something underneath, so stay tuned. <laughs> How does that feel for you though and them trying to bring it out? Because again, like even on last week's episode, they said like, uh, Paige and Chris Jericho. It's not like everyone's just trying to dump on you. They really oh, yeah. just want to see you bring it out. But you got a very emotional last uh, in the I last did. episode. I held it all. in until we weren't in like the ring or in a public place. You know what I mean? Because I, I still want to respect them. I know they're there just trying to help me. So I'm gonna keep it in and just take everything they say and keep building and learning from there. So. <laughs> what did family and friends thought when you told them, hey, guess what, I'm going down to Orlando for this? Everybody, t they, well, my mom, I called her and she told me to shut up because she didn't believe me. Um, and everybody always laughs and they're like, it would happen to you because I'm just kind of weird and, you know, something like this wouldn't ever happen to anybody else. And <laughs> so it's been awesome. Lastly, what are you taking from this whole experience and just whatever happens for you, mm -hmm. what is it going to mean for you going forward from here? Going forward from here, I'm hoping, at least being on here, um, I'm going to keep pursuing a wrestling career after I win. <laughs> I'll keep developing, learning, um, developing my ring skills, my promo skills, you know, just taking everything they say, like from our coaches, judges, just keep learning the whole time. Never give up, no matter what they throw at you. So we're going to say go Big Blue? <laughs> go Green? <laughs> ah, you're going Spartans. Yeah. There like you go. State. That's okay. Like no, 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 that's okay, then, man. That's you. <laughs> Go Spartans. Go. Do you like Michigan? Yeah, yeah oh, a little bit. Crap. That's okay. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Okay. That's funny. Sarah Lee, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.